G'day Carbonites, welcome back to another TC's Auto Rewards update video. Thank you very much, Mr. Pego. Perfect intro. Um, Alright, so today we're going to be discussing the changes that happened in version 1.10.0. Uh, there's another major update, so there's four new features added, uh, plus a couple of uh, bug fixes. Today we're just going to be going through the new features. So first thing I want to discuss is on-screen display for all your players. So if we go into the reward menu, there's a new option down here for players where they can activate the on-screen display. So now uh, with that activated, anytime you receive a playtime bonus or your income, you'll get text up top of the screen, which displays how much arc you received and your total amount that you currently have so very simple um the next thing i want to discuss is configurable bonus amount for individual players now so if we have a look in the admin menu under players we'll see there's a new text box here for bonus amount so this is uh, replacing the INI setting basically of the bonus amount. So now you can have a custom bonus amount for individual players. So if you have like VIP players that you want to earn a little bit more over the same amount of time, um, you can set that in here. Now, uh, something important to note is that the first time you run you this update on your server, it will loop through all your players and automatically assign the default bonus amount in this uh, this uh, box here. But it will only do that the, the very first time you load it up after the update. After that, any time that you change this, it will save it. Now for new players, when you get a new player joining your server and they get automatically added to the system they will get the default um, the default bonus amount and if you want to change it you'll have to physically go in here and and change it to to suit whatever now if you're running a server with uh, a lot of players um, like a thousand plus players the first time you load this up make sure you, you leave it for 30 seconds or so because it's going to be looping through all of those players and assigning the uh, bonus amount to them so just leave it for 30 seconds or so without opening up any menus or anything just to make sure it gets done without being interrupted now that being said with the addition of those two new variables we have uh, the bonus amount which is being saved to the player database uh, also the the toggle for the on-screen display that also gets saved to their profile so old exports will no longer work you'll need to adjust it okay so if we export the player data you'll see uh, we have uh, this variable here is the on-screen display so this is at the end of uh, a player as you can tell by the uh, dollar sign the very last uh, variable is the on-screen display, so it's uh, a boolean, so there's only two values, zero for off and one for on. So this player has the display on. This uh, empty slot here is actually player tags, so we don't have any tags there. And this one here is the bonus amount. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, if you need to convert your old exports to this uh, new format but uh, hopefully you won't need to do that it's only if uh, something goes wrong with the update so um, basically if you just do a new export uh, everything should be fine but just keep your old ones just in case because you can still use them if you just convert it um, anyway I'm getting a little bit in depth with uh, this sort of stuff now because I want to try and teach you guys the mechanics behind the mod so you can do your own troubleshooting and, and stuff like that. I feel like there's a lack of uh, information about the mod up. So the more information, the better. Okay, so the next feature I want to talk about is tiered arc bars. So um, 
a while ago, I, I think it was uh, 1.8, I added um, the physical arc item. But we now have tiered versions. So we have uh, titanium, iridium, platinum, thorium, and corium. And uh, the amounts uh, are varied, so they, they have different values assigned to them. So the original arc bars are still one arc. Titanium is 10, iridium is 50, platinum is 100, thorium is 500, and corium is 1000. So if we just purchase that, uh, we can run through here and it will say in the description how much each is worth so you can see there this uh, titanium's 10 50 100 500 and a thousand now the mod is uh is very good at keeping track of uh what you've consumed and it doesn't matter what type you don't need to only consume just the gold ones and then wait for it. You can just, you can hold E on all of them. It'll calculate it and then add it to your account. So it's, uh, it's very good. Um, uh, once again, the, uh, the spawn codes and everything for these, if you need them or the blueprint paths or whatever are in the config thread on the mod page, if you need them for anything. Okay, uh, last but not least is uh, we have a new tag for uh, packs. If we head into here, I have two packs here. Limited pack one, limited pack two. So you can see the new tag here. Limit 10 and limit 5. So basically the limit tag will limit how many times that pack can be purchased by each player. So this pack will be allowed to, you will be allowed to purchase it five times. This one you'll be allowed to purchase it ten times. And it does work in conjunction with other, um, with other tags as well. So you don't need to worry about only having a limit on it. Um, the, don't use the one-time buy with it. I mean, it'll still function, but it kind of cancels itself out because a one-time buy will overwrite the, the limit. So once once a player buys it once, that's it. That it doesn't matter how many limits that it has on it. I mean, you buy it once, that's it. All right. So just I don't know. It's a little bit of common sense. Okay. So we can um, we can have a look here. We've got ten purchases remaining for this one. So this one has the limit ten on it. All right. So once we purchase that, it's assigns a tag to the player profile which I'm going to go through with you guys so it adds this tag on there I'm going to tell you how to read this so if you ever need to adjust it or whatever you can you know exactly what it means and you can adjust it yourself so the L means it's a limit tag PID 0 is actually the pack ID then uh, we just have a dash because I use that to split it and then this player has nine purchases remaining on that pack. So if we go back into the admin menu and have a look at that pack, you'll see the PID is zero there, PID zero. Now, if we go back into the reward menu and click on that pack again, you can see we've got nine purchases remaining. If we purchase it again, eight remaining. And if we have a look at the player tag, you'll see that it's updated with eight purchases left. So if we actually change this to five, update the player profile, head back into the reward menu, you'll see we only have five purchases remaining. Now, once we use up all of our purchases, we can no longer purchase that item. If you need to reset this at any stage, you can just delete that tag altogether, or you can change it, change the number at the end to give them more purchases. So say they um, they accidentally purchased it or something, and uh, you need to refund it. Basically, you can just adjust that number at the end. But if we update that by removing the tag, and now we have ten purchases remaining again. 
So uh, this one here, we have the timer on it as well. So 20 purchases remaining. If we buy this and try to buy it again, you'll see it's it's locked by the timer first. So even though we have 19 purchases left, the time will override it. So it's uh, it's a very cool feature. I really like that that uh, that limit tag. I'm sure it'll come in handy for you guys. And that is it for um, the features that I wanted to discuss in version 1.10.0. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the video useful. As always, don't forget to lead your targets and I'll see you next time.